More than 243 million years ago, Earth was a planet ruled by mystery. There were no humans, no mammals, as we know them, not even birds. Instead, the landscape was dominated by vast deserts, thick primeval forests, erupting volcanoes, and strange reptiles crawling across the land. After the most devastating extinction event in Earth's history, the Permian-Triassic extinction that wiped out over 90% of marine species and 70% of land vertebrates, a new age began. And during this era, in the shadows of a recovering world, a small group of agile reptiles emerged. These creatures didn't look like much. They were about the size of a dog, walked on two legs, and moved quickly. But they carried the seeds of a legacy that would one day change the world. These were the ancestors of the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs belonged to a larger group of animals called Archosauria, which includes crocodilians and birds. What made them stand apart, even in those early days, was their revolutionary posture. Instead of legs sprawled out like a modern-day lizard or alligator dinosaurs, walked with their limbs positioned directly beneath their bodies. This upright stance allowed them to support heavier bodies, move more efficiently, and evolve into a wide variety of shapes and sizes. It was a game-changing adaptation. The first known dinosaurs like Eoraptor and Herrerasaurus were agile hunters. They weren't massive or terrifying, but they were fast, smart, and effective. From these small beginnings, dinosaurs exploded in diversity. Over millions of years, they evolved into some of the most iconic creatures Earth has ever seen, from the towering long-necked sauropods that stretched over 100 feet to the vicious meat-eating theropods like Allosaurus and eventually Tyrannosaurus rex. Paleontologists divide dinosaurs into two major groups based on their hip structure. Ornithischians, the bird-hipped dinosaurs, include species like Triceratops, Stegosaurus, and the duck-billed Hadrosaurs, mostly plant eaters, often walking on all fours or switching between two and four legs. Then there are the Saurischians, or lizard-hipped dinosaurs, which include the ferocious theropods and the massive long-necked sauropods. And here's the twist. Despite the name, it wasn't the bird-hipped group that gave rise to birds. It was the lizard-hipped theropods. In other words, the fearsome T-Rex and the tiny hummingbird are distant cousins. As time passed, continents began to drift apart. What was once the massive supercontinent, Pangaea, slowly broke into smaller land masses. Dinosaurs separated by oceans and evolving in isolation adapted to their environments in unique ways. In North America, Triceratops grazed in open plains. In Asia, swift predators like Velociraptor stalked the forests. In the south, monstrous Spinosaurus, with its sail-like spine, likely hunted in rivers and swamps. The variety was staggering. One major turning point came with the rise of flowering plants during the mid-Cretaceous. These new plants brought fresh challenges and opportunities. Herbivorous dinosaurs evolved new teeth and jaws to handle tough vegetation, while carnivores adapted their hunting strategies. Some dinosaurs even shifted diets, eating insects, fish, or becoming omnivores to survive in changing ecosystems. Dinosaurs didn't just evolve in form, they evolved in behavior. Some developed horns, frills, thick armor plates, or club tails for defense or display. But perhaps the most surprising evolutionary trait was feathers. Once thought to be unique to birds, feathers have been found on many theropod dinosaurs, including species like Microraptor and Anchiornis. These early feathers likely served to keep them warm, helped with display, and eventually enabled flight in their descendants. This isn't just theory, it's backed by breathtaking fossil discoveries. In China's Liaoning province, paleontologists unearthed dinosaurs so well-preserved that their feathers' soft tissue and even colors remained visible after a hundred million years. Thanks to these fossils, we now know some dinosaurs had vivid patterns, striped spots and gradients ranging from orange and black to white and brown. Microraptor, for example, had wings not just on its arms, but also on its legs. 
suggesting it may have glided like a modern flying squirrel. Such findings have revolutionized how we imagine dinosaurs. No longer just gray, scaly brutes, they were vibrant, dynamic, and intelligent. Some nested in groups. Some likely cared for their young. Others, like the bird-like oviraptor, were found fossilized in protective brooding positions over their nests, just like modern chickens. Ultimately, the story of dinosaurs is not one of primitive monsters. It's one of astonishing innovation. From humble beginnings, they conquered every continent, diversified into every niche, and ruled for over 130 million years. And they're not gone. Every time a bird takes flight, the age of dinosaurs lives on. For over 130 million years, dinosaurs reigned as the undisputed kings of the land. They survived shifting continents, rising mountain chains, and volcanic eruptions. But around six million years ago, their time came to a sudden and dramatic end. Most non-avian dinosaurs vanished in one of the most catastrophic extinction events in Earth's history, the Cretaceous Paleogene Extinction, or KPG event. The world that followed would never be the same. The story of their extinction begins with a cataclysm from the sky. Scientists now agree that a massive asteroid, estimated to be about 10 to 15 kilometers wide, struck what is now the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. This impact created a crater over 180 kilometers in diameter, known as the Chicxulub Crater. The energy released was equivalent to billions of nuclear bombs detonating at once. In an instant, the impact triggered massive wildfires, earthquakes, and mega tsunamis. But the most devastating effect came after the initial blast. The asteroid's impact kicked enormous amounts of dust, sulfur, and soot into the atmosphere. This cloud wrapped around the globe, blocking sunlight for months, maybe even years. Photosynthesis halted. Plants died. The food chain collapsed from the bottom up. Herbivores starved first, followed by the carnivores that hunted them. Temperatures plummeted. Acid rain fell. It was a true apocalypse for life on Earth. But was it the only cause? At the same time, another environmental disaster was unfolding. In what is now India, massive volcanic eruptions formed the Deccan Trap's vast fields of solidified lava that today stretch over 500,000 square kilometers. These eruptions spewed toxic gases and greenhouse emissions into the air, leading to climate instability, ocean acidification, and more environmental stress. Some scientists believe that the combination of the asteroid and the volcanic activity dealt the final blow to the dinosaurs. It wasn't just one event. It was a deadly one-two punch. Not all life vanished. In fact, roughly 70% of species went extinct, but some survived. Crocodiles, turtles, snakes, small mammals, and one group of dinosaurs managed to make it through. That surviving lineage, the birds. Yes, birds are dinosaurs, not just their descendants, but technically part of the same evolutionary tree. Modern birds evolved from small feathered theropods during the Jurassic period. They already had adaptations that may have helped them survive the extinction beaks instead of teeth, small body sizes, the ability to fly or escape quickly, and possibly even the ability to hibernate or eat seeds. These traits gave them an edge when the world turned dark and cold. Fossil evidence suggests that while all large-bodied dinosaurs perished, some avian dinosaurs survived by occupying ecological niches that offered refuge. Caves, burrows, tree canopies, any place that was insulated or had food could serve as a lifeboat in the aftermath. Some species might have traveled long distances or flown to less affected regions, and slowly over millions of years, these survivors diversified and evolved into the more than 10,000 bird species we see today. Meanwhile, the non-avian dinosaurs, T. rex, Triceratops, Ankylosaurus, and the rest left behind only their fossils. But their story didn't end there. In the centuries that followed, their bones sparked curiosity and wonder. Ancient Chinese writings described dragon bones. In Europe, 
fossils were thought to belong to giants or biblical monsters. But in the 19th century, scientists began to piece together the truth. Sir Richard Owen coined the term dinosaur in 1842, meaning terrible lizard. Museums began showcasing reconstructed skeletons. Children grew up dreaming of T-Rex and Stegosaurus. Dinosaurs became a cultural phenomenon. Even today, new dinosaur species are being discovered almost every month. With advanced imaging DNA protein studies and microscopic analysis, paleontologists are uncovering more about how dinosaurs lived, breathed, and evolved. Some fossils preserve not just bones, but skin impressions, stomach contents, and even soft tissues, offering insights once thought impossible. Dinosaurs are not just extinct creatures, they're scientific time machines. They help us understand how life adapts to change how extinction works and what might happen to us if a similar disaster struck today. Their extinction reminds us of how fragile life can be, but their legacy seen every time a bird takes flight is a testament to survival resilience and the power of evolution. So the next time you hear a bird chirp outside your window, know that you're hearing the voice of a dinosaur. Not the roar of a T-Rex, but the song of a survivor, one that weathered the worst mass extinction in six, six million years and lives on to this day. Long after their extinction, dinosaurs continue to captivate the human imagination. Though they vanished six million years ago, their legacy lives on. Not just in birds and bones, but in our culture, museums, movies, classrooms, and collective dreams. Few creatures in Earth's history have had such a powerful, posthumous impact. The story of humanity's encounter with dinosaurs didn't begin with science. For thousands of years, fossilized bones of enormous creatures were discovered by ancient peoples who had no way to explain them. In China, such remains were interpreted as dragon bones and were ground into powder for traditional medicine. In Europe, large bones found in rocks were believed to be the remains of giants, mythical beasts, or even evidence from the Great Flood described in religious texts. It wasn't until the 19th century that the truth began to emerge. In 1842, British paleontologist Sir Richard Owen coined the term dinosauria, meaning terrible lizard. He recognized that the giant bones being discovered in England belonged to a distinct group of reptiles unlike anything alive today. The first dinosaur reconstructions, particularly Iguanodon megalosaurus and Heliosaurus, caused a sensation. Life-size models were built in London's Crystal Palace Park, drawing massive crowds and sparking what we now call dinosaur mania. This fascination only grew stronger over time. In the late 1800s, the bone wars between American paleontologists Edward Drinker Cope and Othniel Charles Marsh led to the discovery of over 130 new dinosaur species. Although their rivalry was fierce and sometimes destructive, it ignited public interest in prehistoric life and laid the groundwork for modern paleontology. Today, dinosaur skeletons are some of the most visited exhibits in natural history museums worldwide. From the towering Tyrannosaurus Rex in New York's American Museum of Natural History to the long-necked Diplodocus in London's Natural History Museum, these reconstructions inspire awe in people of all ages. Children, in particular, are drawn to dinosaurs. Ask any six-year-old about their favorite dinosaur, and you're likely to hear not just a name, but facts, roars, and a full reenactment. But dinosaurs are more than just museum attractions. They are a symbol of curiosity, discovery, and science itself. In classrooms around the world, they're often a child's first introduction to concepts like evolution, extinction, and geologic time. Their bones help students understand Earth's deep past, while their stories raise important questions about climate adaptation and survival. In popular media, dinosaurs are everywhere. 
They've stormed through novels, stomped across television screens, and thrilled audiences in theaters for generations. The most iconic of these is undoubtedly the Jurassic Park franchise, which began with Michael Crichton's 90 novel and was brought to life by Steven Spielberg's 93 blockbuster film. With its groundbreaking visual effects, lifelike dinosaur models, and thrilling storyline, Jurassic Park redefined what moviegoers imagined prehistoric life could look like. Even though the science wasn't always accurate, the film sparked renewed interest in paleontology, inspiring a new generation of scientists. Beyond Hollywood, dinosaurs appear in documentaries, cartoons, video games, toys, and advertising. They represent power, mystery, and nostalgia. Even the word dinosaur has entered our language as a metaphor for something ancient, outdated, or soon to be extinct. Ironically, real dinosaurs were anything but obsolete. They were adaptive dominant and innovative, and birds proved that their lineage still thrives. Scientific research into dinosaurs is more dynamic than ever. In the last few decades, paleontology has become a high-tech field. CT scans reveal inner bone structures. Isotope analysis helps determine diet and climate. Even soft tissue, collagen, and pigment traces have been recovered from some fossils, offering clues about how dinosaurs looked and lived. Some researchers are even studying gene expression in birds to reverse engineer ancient traits, a field nicknamed dino chicken research. New fossils are being discovered all the time, especially in regions like China, Argentina, and Mongolia. Some of the most stunning finds include feathered dinosaurs, embryo fossils, and trackways that show social behavior. Every discovery reshapes our understanding of these creatures, proving that there is still so much more to learn. Dinosaurs also have a surprising role in environmental awareness. Their extinction is often used as a cautionary tale, reminding us of the fragility of ecosystems and the dangers of sudden climate change or cosmic events. When people ask, could it happen to us? The answer, as history shows, is yes. Dinosaurs didn't see it coming, and neither might we. Yet, even with all we've learned, dinosaurs remain wrapped in mystery. What colors were they really? How did they sound? Did some species have complex social structures? Could more non-avian dinosaurs have survived in isolated regions? Every fossil holds new secrets waiting to be unearthed. Perhaps that's the true magic of dinosaurs. They're not just relics of the past. They are puzzles for the present and guides for the future. They challenge us to look beyond our short human time scale and imagine a world far older, stranger, and more beautiful than we ever thought possible. So, when you see a hawk soaring overhead or a chicken pecking at the ground, remember, you're looking at a living dinosaur. The age of dinosaurs isn't over. It's just changed form. If you enjoyed this journey into the prehistoric past, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell so you won't miss our next exploration. Have a favorite dinosaur or a mystery you'd like us to uncover. Let us know in the comments, because the legend lives on.